All right, guys, this is the second part of this video. I'm going to show you how to snap this thing in. With these chains adjusted to the right length, here's what you're going to look for. Lean the bike over just a little bit, snap that in, and when you pull that snug, that bike's straight. Okay, you don't want this too loose, you don't want it too tight. You want it just snug, just like that. So you got to find the right length to fit your bike. Snug and straight. Now let's go to the other side. And when you get that, when you get the closest one to you snapped in, trust it. So just lean across your bike, compress it a little bit, grab your second one that you already have adjusted, snap it in, get off the bike. Okay? See how they're both just snug? They're not tight, they're not compressing this bike down. They're just snug. And the bike is still straight. Now I'm going to get out and walk around and show you how this front one snaps in. Alright, so with these two snug, and the bike's still straight, once again. I've already pre-adjusted all my chains, so these are the correct lengths that I'm in for this bike and the way I place my D-rings. So at this point, I just want to grab this back tire, roll it ahead, snap that front one in. And what this front one does is when you roll this bike ahead, it compresses the rear shock just a little bit. Maybe an inch, maybe maximum two. And you're capturing the compression with this front chain. Okay, so now you have a stable system. It ain't going nowhere. This back tire's not going to bounce around like uh, it would if it had straps on the handlebars because the rear suspension is compressed just a little bit. Not overly compressed. That's why you want to leave these just snug, bike straight. And then uh, roll this ahead as far as you can with one hand by yourself and get this front one snapped in. So to take this apart, it's just the reverse. First thing you want to do is grab your back tire, roll this ahead, release that compression off that rear shock. I'm going to get back in the truck. Lean across the bike. And do that one. Come over here. Lean the bike to you a little bit. Undo that. You're all in the clear. So there's the video on how to hook it up and how to unhook it and adjust it. So once again, get it adjusted so it's just snug. Get the bike straight. Come across. Lean across the bike to compress it to get you enough slack. Get this one in. Okay, once again, you see how it's just they're just snug. They're not pulling this ass end down or nothing. And then at that time you get out of the truck and roll this bike ahead. It's like that. And snap in that front one. The front tire can be any direction you want to accommodate another bike in here. You can turn it that way. The reason for holding these D-rings back 57 and a half inches from the front of the truck is to give you room for this front tire to roll ahead when you go to uh, do that, to capture the front chain. You still have room up there to move your tire around. Alright, that's it.